uh, afterward, Rhonda has the belt and she's selling the knee and suddenly Liv Morgan's music plays and she races down and she is cashing in her money in the bank briefcase and bell rings. And this place is going nuts because I, I don't think that they were expecting this. Um, Liv breaks out of an ankle lock because Rhonda gets the ankle lock and this crowd, like you could just see the air out of their sails that my God, Rhonda's going to beat Liv here, but she breaks free and rolls up Rhonda in 32 seconds and pins Rousey to win the SmackDown women's title. And Rousey takes the title, hands it to Liv and hugs her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No heel turn. No, no heel turn, but a total like, if ever there was a reason for to, to turn Rhonda, this was it. And I, I think it actually makes the audience actually dislike her more because I don't think you could ever fathom somebody um, reacting like this when you're being taken so advantage of. Like, this is such a heel maneuver by mm-hmm. Liv. Like, here's this woman on one leg who's just coming out of a match and mm-hmm. then she's hugging her. Well, thank you for doing this to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, th- but this crowd, they they wanted to see this title change. It was going to get a big pop regardless, but it was added being that it was Liv. And also, I thought Michael Cole was tremendous calling this for Liv Morgan, like her first big title that she has won and going through, like coming to NXT. Like he did a very good job of making this um, uh, plenty of quotes for a video package. Yeah, yeah. I believe like we might have like hinted towards some sort of scenario, like similar to what what happened here in our preview Um, of the two, you know, women's championship matches. I I could have seen this one be the more likely candidate for uh, money in in the bank winner to to capitalize on on the show. You know, the fact that like it seems to be a pretty common pattern where like coming off of every ever since we've had um, we we thought Lacey maybe could could have done. The, the spot right was that the on ronda on ronda maybe yeah. but um you know ever since they've had a women's and a men's or like for that matter a raw and a smackdown briefcase it, it, it wwe tends to not want to have both around you know their television and so you you it's it's often that you get one cashed in almost immediately last year it was uh nikki ash the day after and this year it's Liv morgan if, um if, if you tell me i'll believe you <laughs> Well, I mean, for, as an, exactly, like you don't remember it, right? Because, like, I don't know how many of us remember like the Nikki Ash run, and what difference does it make for what you know has it made for her on the card right now? And it's for that reason, in particular, when it comes to baby faces, I don't love them winning based off of the money in the bank. Yes, it made for a great moment, but you know cr- the crowds are going to pop for any sort of cash in. Of course, it's, it's a very easy pop. Yeah. Like, they're they're reacting because something stunning is happening. Um, mm-hmm. like it's, it's, it's totally like you could have picked any woman and they're getting a crazy pop for a cash in. Like that's yeah. a given. But in particular for baby faces, I don't like it because I mean, they don't come at Liv, Liv Morgan does not come out of, out of this feeling like a legitimate champion. She feels like somebody who won on a technicality, much like, like Nikki Ash did yesterday. And the criticism she, they had when Big E won the title that here he took advantage of a hurt Bobby Lashley. And that's kind of the, the, the problem of like a baby face winning the money in the bank is it, it like there isn't a whole lot of drama in announcing ahead of time you're cashing it in. And that's why they've done that so few times. I actually with Liv Morgan wouldn't have minded if she lost her cash in here. Not to say it had to be tonight, but at some point down the road, you know, like she caught a promo earlier saying I have to be really careful with how I cash this in because I only have one opportunity. You know, she's already nervous going in. And if she eventually goes in loses it i think it would get a lot of groans and a lot of negative reaction but i also think it would be a good setup for her to start from the bottom again to actually earn her title shot so that she could beat that same person the proper way you know for her first championship um i i think this will be fine and ultimately it comes down to the booking but i do have concern that they will just kind of book her as if she still live morgan you know kind of like middle of the pack and by the end of the title run, we forget about it all. Well, you don't get the time. chase. And the yeah. you, you cut out the chase, especially for someone who's never had a title before. That's mm-hmm. a big part of the of the come up for somebody that you you've kind of like Liv has pretty much been on the background for a year. Like she's mm-hmm. had like, you know, her title cha- challenges with Becky, but th- those are months ago. So you've kind of just jet str- just jettisoned mm-hmm. through everything to give her the title now and now it's all of a sudden she's your champion and i i'm just looking at with, with ronda is 
Like this was such an opportunity that she could just have like tossed the title to live and stormed off. Um, because I think that's the direction you need to go with Ronda. And instead of the, See, it was like they, they doubled down here. Now, if Ronda retained, let's say the ankle lock was put on it and Liv tapped, I think you would have made a heel in Ronda Rousey. I think like so, that. too. I think so, too. If you were directing Ronda in a heel direction, mm-hmm. that is one way I could have justified Liv failing here because mm-hmm. it would have been um, it would have been tough. But you would have had a crowd very uh, upset that Ronda retained. Definitely. But I would have like I wouldn't have had Rhonda lose to anybody else in the future but Liv. Like, and that story of Liv coming back specifically to, to take the title from Rhonda, I, I think would have been at least interesting. But anyway, it's all in the past now. 